A solution may have finally arrived for fixing contaminated land on the Leech Lake Reservation. Contaminated soil has been a poison to band members for decades in an area on Cass Lake Southside. And in a Saturday meeting, the Environmental Protection Agency detailed how a new plan could end the issue. Jackson Bruner has the latest for us tonight. South of Leech Lake's train tracks, the dangerous dioxin chemical lingers in the ground. Somebody gardens, their dog runs outside and tracks soil in, you know, they get, you get a little bit of windblown dust in your mouth. If that happens over the course of 70 years, then there's a potential impact that's, that that kind of lifetime exposure to dioxin could cause a cancer. The problem stems from a wood treatment plant that used to sit on the reservation. And in this particular section, which is owned by the Regis Paper Company, a a thin layer of dioxin rests near the surface. That contamination probably got there by being blown onto the property or by, um, you know, rainwater runoff running onto the property. As a result, this area of land is considered a major health risk. And to keep people out, the EPA surrounded most of it with fences. From 1985 to now, these barriers have made life hard for the tribe. The inability to drink the groundwater or to have a garden are strangling this community. And as a lifelong resident of Cass Lake, that is, that's a big issue. The EPA has been in charge of the project since 1995, and they've had several fix ideas since. In 2011, they wanted to put a thin layer of clean dirt over the contamination, which the tribe opposed. If you clean up a spot, and then you just move that dirty spot over next to it, and it's still on the reservation, which again is, you know, it, there's there's an end to it. it means that there isn't any more reservations. So you're not really doing much by just moving the contamination from one spot to another on the reservation still. Today, the plan is for a full excavation, which would remove the contaminated dirt and place it deeper underground on reservation land, but away from people's yards. It's not on everybody's property. It's not a problem for everybody. It just needs to be managed, which can safely be done at depth on responsible party property. It's a step in the right direction, the tribe says, but their standards ask for more. They say the EPA's alternative, a landfill in Buffalo, Minnesota, would be a better place to put the soil. We are 100% wanting people's liberty, freedoms to be returned, meaning that they could drink the water that's here, live off the land that's you know here, and to basically feel free that you know nothing nobody else has ever done is going to hurt them or harm them. In Leech Lake, Jackson Bruner, Lakeland News. The EPA says an official timeline would allow excavation to actually start several years from now. In the meantime, Leech Lake officials say they'll ask for another EPA hearing in order to get the public more involved. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.